Let me ask you this. Whose fault is it that you aren't as rich as you'd like, as beautiful as you'd want to be, as happy, as loving, that you aren't as intelligent as you want to be? Whose fault is it? Tell me. Tell me whose fucking fault is it? You see, when things are going good for us, when we're doing good, it can be very easy to be like, ah, yeah, that was all me. That was all me. Fuck yeah, that was me. But then when shit goes bad, ah, man, you fuck. It was you. You fucked it up. It was you. you. It's easy to blame other people when, when you know, shit hits the fan. I would like to challenge you to take some fucking responsibility for everything in your life. Everything. 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 I'm not even fucking playing with you. Everything. And then you will become. Then you will grow. Then you will be happier. That's really it. That is the answer. That is the key to take responsibility for everything. Thank you. Hey, everybody. You might have heard that you become what you eat, right? But you also become the people that you spend time with and the people that you hang around with, right? We all know that person that always got some fucking negative shit to say about everything, bro. You want to, or someone who's always got new problems, like always pushing their problems. You meet them, they're talking about their problems, problems. Like, yo, like, I need to step away from you for a second, like, or maybe a lot of seconds. Maybe like, so from here to infinity, your soul and I will never cross paths again because energy is always moving. And when that, and you might just be in that way of that energy. Think about this. A punch contains energy. Boom, right? If you're in the way of that punch, you're going to get hit. So if you're in the way of somebody speaking negative and their negative energy, by God, you're going to get that negative energy too. So just step away from those people and find a new crowd if you need to. Good day. Today's video is presented. Beautiful Stratford. Now, the idea that I want to present today is there are many ways to climb up the same mountain. Many ways from different angles, from different sides. But there are incorrect ways to go up that mountain. There are ways, there are things in the mountain that you need to avoid. There are certain gear, certain tools that we must have to climb up adequately and reach it. So what we must do, this is, this is a, a mountain can be seen as the life can be seen as any particular problem that we have, any challenge, anything we want to accomplish. So, we must find the people that have climbed the mountain, the mountain that we want to climb, and seek out the information, because the information is out there. The answers are out there. So let's go get them. This is the mountain part two, and on a mountain, when we are climbing this mountain, some tools are better than other tools. Some rope is better than other rope. Imagine if your rope snaps in a critical moment because it was too weak. Or imagine that your rope is too short and you can't do what you need to do because your, your rope is literally just too short. See, sometimes we're giving these tools and we have tools to succeed in life. We, and those are the tools that you have now. Those are the tools that have brought you right here. They've brought you this far. Let's not discredit how far you've come. But if we want to get higher, if we want to go better places, we need new tools. heard of the law of attraction. Okay. Well, what if I said that you can attract better friends? How would you, how would you even do that? You, would you just think it? Would you just, that's, that's, the mis, that's the misconception here to just think it, right? But 
I'm going to give you a, a, a tip that you can use to implement. You can implement this and then you will literally attract more people that you're, that you love to hang out with, that you love to talk to, that'll be more like you. All right. So this is what it is. It's to express yourself fully and completely to not dim your light. That's it. A lot of times it's going to make people uncomfortable. When you are being your true self, people are not going to like it. They're like, my values do not go with this person's values. And that's all right. But what's going to happen is people, other people with that similar light, with that similar frequency are going to see that light and be like, yo, yo, there's another one. Oh, dang. And they're going to go to you. Right. And then there's going to be people who don't like that light. And they're going to be like, bounce. I'm out of here. And that's perfectly fine. You, you know, you don't need to have, you don't need to be liked by everybody. I, 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 fuck, if I, if I was liked by everybody, that'd be so weird. Bro, I'm done. I'm done. So just be all of you. That's today's tip. And I'm going to be doing these every day. I'm going to be giving you little, little snippets every day. And once a week, I'm going to be going live on Facebook for a prolonged period 20, 30, 40, an hour. I can talk for a very long time. And I was going to be doing these in Spanish because I have a lot of family who struggles with English and I want everybody to benefit. Want, for primarily, I'd love for my family. I'd love for my family to be using the law of attraction in their lives. It'd be amazing. It would be amazing. Look at my face. I'm so happy. Yeah. Anyway, take care. So something I learned recently is that, you know, if you've been hurt before emotionally, if you've been like, ah, oh, man, I loved and they just didn't love me enough. They didn't love me the way I want to be loved, the way I should have been loved, right? I say should, should is like subjective to your, what your, you think your should is. Your should is probably different if somebody, somebody else's should. You probably have two different shoulds, right? And that's why, you know, you just don't, you just don't get along. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. You got to understand that you can't always like really, really know somebody. And the only thing that you could really, really know is you, is that you exist. You literally cannot prove anything else. Literally, literally, you cannot prove anything else. And if you disagree, I want you to prove me with some real facts. But you cannot disprove, I mean, you, the only thing you get to prove is that you exist. That's all you know. This whole world out here. That's, this is why physicists call it um, the computer inside the computer inside the computer inside the computer and really that's just that's just a different that's just a different name for a reality inside of a reality inside of a reality inside of a reality but that is true as well see just like literally like go inside of your hand right literally go inside of your hand how many layers do you have how many layers do you have to make your whole hand? Literally, just think about that. You can go infinitely into it. The deepest that we can go is quarks. And then we don't know. Quarks. Quarks. I call them quarks. They're, qu they're called quarks. <laughs> and basically, that's, that's as deep as we know. And we can't even go deeper than that. But you know what we found? You know what we found? You know, we, we went to an atom. This is what happens. We went into an atom. And we were like, all right, let's go into an atom. What can we find? Boom. A bunch of empty space. Empty space. You know what? No way. There's an electron here. Some protons and some neutrons. Cool, cool, cool. All right, you know what? Let's go inside of these. And then they went inside of those. And you know what they found? more empty space more empty space literally you're like what 
So what are we made out of? Empty space? Empty space. That is what you are made out of. You are made out of empty space. This whole world is empty space. But you are one thing. You, you are one thing. Because you're not your body. I mean, I am associated with my body and obviously because I have an ego, I am associated to my body. But if I didn't have an ego, I would not be associated to my body, to what I look like or to how it, it, it moved within the world. If it even cared to survive, you know, the reason you have an ego, every single person has an ego, you can never say, nobody can say that they killed their ego. You know why? Because if you didn't have an ego, you wouldn't even like feel the need to, to survive. If you didn't have an ego, you would just be like, like that. You would just be like that. Like, have you seen the monks? There's monks, right? And there, there's actually, they, got, they, had, they took a statue and it was a very old statue and they scanned it. And what they found was the body literally.